When you're planning a new PC build, a great place to start is with the CPU. If your goal is to build a cost effective gaming rig, then I've got a few CPU recommendations for you. Let's take a look. The honeymoon period isn't over for Intel's unlocked dual core Pentium processor. The Haswell based G3258 comes clocked at 3.2 GHz out of the box and has no trouble pushing past 4 GHz for some seriously respectable single and dual thread performance. Of course, you'll need a Z97 motherboard, but there are plenty of sub $100 options to choose from. Should you not be interested in overclocking, then I suggest looking to Intel's latest LGA 1151 platform. The Core i3-6100 is a personal favourite of mine. Clocked at 3.7GHz, it's plenty fast and with hyper-threading support, multi-threaded tasks aren't an issue. I've found even the slower 3.2GHz low voltage model is more than capable of getting the most out of a sub $200 GPU. This makes it an ideal budget gaming option. If your budget allows for it, I feel the more expensive Core i5 processors are actually the best value option for gamers. A processor such as the Core i5-6600K provides more than enough oomph to tackle any modern game and you won't see a noticeable performance improvement by moving to the more expensive Core i7 model. This is still true when looking at the latest DirectX 12 titles as well. Unless you're running a pair of Titan X graphics cards and SLI then there really isn't much need to invest in anything more extreme than the 6600K. If you don't plan on overclocking then the slightly cheaper 6500 will be just as good. The 6500 operates all four cores at 3.2GHz and it can boost as high as 3.6GHz depending on the workload. I've found for the vast majority of AAA gaming titles out there, the Core i5-6500 provides roughly the same performance as my overclocked 6700K when paired with graphics cards as fast as the GTX 1080. For those of you looking to build an ultra-budget gaming PC without a graphics card, we recommend an AMD APU. The A10-7860K stands out as one of the best options for playing eSports titles such as Rocket League, Dota 2, CSGO and Overwatch for example. AMD's A10-7860K is part of the Kaviri refresh. It boasts four threads that operate at a base frequency of 3.6GHz. What's key here is the integrated Radeon R7 graphics featuring 8 CUs for a total of 512 SPUs, the most of any APU seen yet. In order to get the most out of the A10-7860K's GPU, be sure to pair it with DDR3-2400 memory. As for the motherboard, there are plenty of really good cost-effective AMD A88X options to choose from. If you can hold off a bit longer, AMD's new Bristol Ridge APU should become available soon. Based on the new AM4 platform, they take advantage of high clock DDR4 memory and more importantly, take advantage of a more modern and efficient CPU architecture. AMD has detailed several new APUs and a standout product is the A12-9800 using an updated version of AMD's Carrizo architecture. This is another 4-threaded APU featuring 512 SPU enabled GPU running at up to 1.1GHz. Of course pricing and availability is still unknown though we are expecting them to start showing up in retail channels shortly. So those are my picks right now for the best value gaming CPUs. If you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys for joining me for another episode of Hardware Unbox. To those of you that already support the channel, thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. And to those of you that would like to support the channel directly, I do have Amazon links and a Patreon link in the video description below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.